All right, let's show a little trick here. Uh, right now we can't find our one and a half inch socket. And so this question comes up, it's like, well, you need a lot of leverage to get the, uh, the big main nut off the pinion uh, gear here on the uh, Mini Cooper thing. So what we did is we just kind of rated our uh, fabrication metal pile and we bolted this nice solid shelf rod, or something of the sort, uh, to the front of the, uh, the gearbox. And this lets us now have leverage on the case. You can see here, you can move it up and down. And we put up a great big crescent wrench in here onto the, uh, the main pinion nut. So let me hand the camera here over to my assistant. Oh, check this out, she has a bird on her head. He was on my head a moment ago. We'll see if we can keep our bird in the shot. All right, we just filled in. Regis is going to try to help me here. Maybe not. We've got good leverage. We've got a good grip on this. So let's see if we can cheat here. We have our little Italian torque wrench going. And uh, I use that in a very favorable way. I've used Italian torque wrenches all my life. And we can get a grip on this. Let's see if we just have enough leverage here to break but that pinion nut loose. Oh, there we go. There we go. Where's the pinion nut? It's hard to see because it's underneath here. But that's all we needed. Now it's loose enough. I don't even need my big long torque wrenches anymore. But you can see here that this gives us just a really good grip on the case so that we can get in here and break the opinion that we'll reposition here and uh, finish taking that off, undo our jig so that we can get back into the gearbox and we'll show what happened here because we do have the bad synchro on second gear as, as we had diagnosed while we were driving it. So we're going to go in of course and we're going to fix that so that it shifts very smoothly along with its great running engine. So next update coming up.